It's a vaccine more than 100 years in the making. Today, WHO is recommending the broad use of the world's first malaria vaccine. The World Health Organization called this an historic day, saying the groundbreaking vaccine could save tens of thousands of young lives every year. Malaria killed roughly 400,000 people in 2019, mostly in sub-Saharan Africa, and more than half the dead were children under five. Spread through mosquitoes infected with malaria, one bite can take the life of a healthy child within weeks. Today's recommendation therefore offers a glimmer of hope for the continent. The vaccine is called RTSS. Made by GSK, it was shown to be effective six years ago, but the WHO wasn't convinced. The vaccine required four doses given to babies in Africa in their first 18 months of life. Now, 2.3 million doses later, three pilot programs have shown the vaccine was safe, cost-effective and able to prevent four in ten cases of malaria. Not nearly as effective as COVID vaccines developed in less than a year, but experts say there's a good reason why. It's a bit different making a vaccine against a parasite than a than a virus. Malaria is not caused by a virus, but a complex parasite that reproduces by destroying our cells. And it doesn't just escape our immune system, but transforms itself inside our body. The RTSS vaccine targets an early form of the parasite to try and stop it. It's not a perfect vaccine, that's for sure. But at a population level, it really could help. A second generation malaria vaccine is also in the works. Still in phase two trials, early results show it's even more effective. But infectious disease experts say lives are at stake now. And they're hoping more African countries will roll out this current vaccine as quickly as possible. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.